Have you ever heard someone say, it's not my cup of tea and wondered what that means? Let me share a funny story that might sound familiar. Imagine a character who takes the phrase, it's not my cup of tea, literally. They might say, I don't like tea, so I won't be drinking it. Little do they know, the idiom has nothing to do with the actual beverage. So, what does it's not my cup of tea really mean? The idiom is used to express that something is not to your liking or preference. For example, if you're invited to a formal dinner party, but you'd much rather be at home watching a movie. You might say, that's just not my cup of tea. Here are some examples of how to use it's not my cup of tea in different contexts. In casual conversation, going to a concert on a weeknight? That's just not my cup of tea. In a formal setting, I appreciate the opportunity, but the formal dress code is not my cup of tea. In a negative context, the new boss's management style is definitely not my cup of tea. In a humorous context, skydiving? That's definitely not my cup of tea, I prefer to keep my feet on the ground. To remember the meaning of it's not my cup of tea, think of it as it's not my preferred choice or preference. This idiom it's not my cup of tea became popular in 1930s Britain. However, the tradition of tea drinking as a refined social custom began much earlier. During the Victorian era, 1837 to 1901. Afternoon tea was an essential part of upper-class social life. Shaping interactions and reflecting the class structure. By the late 19th century, it was a well-established custom, complete with strict etiquette. It reflects the cultural importance of tea and the idea that people have their own unique preferences when it comes to tea and other aspects of life. Now, let's explore some related idioms and phrases. Similar idioms, not my thing, not my style, not my forte. Opposite idioms, right up my alley, my cup of tea, just what the doctor ordered. Related idioms, to each their own, different strokes for different folks. Let's try using it's not my cup of tea in a sentence. I know you love horror movies, but they're just not my cup of tea. Now, let's rephrase that without using the idiom. I know you love horror movies, but I don't really enjoy that genre. Here's a real-life story where it's not my cup of tea was used effectively. A colleague invited me to join their weekly bowling league, but I politely declined, saying, That's just not my cup of tea. I prefer more low-key activities after work. Now, let's address some common mistakes and how to avoid them. One mistake is using the idiom incorrectly, like saying, It's not my cup of teas. The correct grammar is it's not my cup of tea. Another mistake is thinking the idiom means you dislike tea altogether. Remember, it's about your personal preferences, not just tea. It's also important to use it's not my cup of tea in the right context. Avoid using it when talking about something you truly dislike or find offensive. Let's test your understanding with a few quizzes. What does the idiom it's not my cup of tea mean? A. I don't like tea. 
B. It's not to my liking or preference. C. I'm not good at it. Correct answer, B. Which of these is a similar expression to it's not my cup of tea? A. My cup of tea. B. Not my thing. C. Just what the doctor ordered. Correct answer, B. Which of these is an opposite expression to it's not my cup of tea? A. To each their own. B. Right up my alley. C. Different strokes for different folks. Correct answer, B. Well, there you have it. Now you know the meaning, usage, and cultural context of the idiom, it's not my cup of tea. Go ahead and try using it's not my cup of tea in a sentence. I'd love to hear how you apply it in your own life.